This is the story of DMT, or dimethyltryptamine, a molecule with a complex name and the simplest ability to unlock the door to another dimension. DMT, the spirit molecule, you know, it's a conundrum, it's a paradox. It's amazing that we have a molecule in our brain and throughout our body that is the most potent hallucinogen that we know. Why is DMT in our bodies? Why is it in plants, in all sorts of mammals? What is the role it plays in humans? Between the inhalation and the exhalation, they were then transported into, you know, whatever it is, or wherever it is that DMT leads people. I would have expected that I would see angels and fairies and not alien life forms. Are these experiences spiritual experiences or otherwise are they created by physiological processes or is the brain itself responding to something that's going on? What do these experiences say about the nature of reality, the nature of our minds, or the function of our brain that we can so quickly shift into these alternate realities? The frames we use to understand our world are arbitrary. DMT is a forcible reminder that there's a lot more about reality, the universe, ourselves, the biosphere, whatever, that we, uh, there's a lot more to it than we 